the British people have made a very clear decision to take a different path. And as such, I think the country requires fresh leadership to take it in this direction. But I do not think it would be right for me to try to be the captain that steers our country to its next destination. That is British Prime Minister David Cameron announcing his resignation just hours after that earth-shaking vote to leave Europe and just a fragment of the fallout, the pound collapsed. Financial markets plunged all over the world. Here in the U.S., more than $800 billion in losses. Big questions now about America's special relationship with the U.K. Terry Moran has the latest from London. Now comes the hard part. After voting to leave the European Union, Britain must now figure out how to do it, transforming its economy and laws, tearing up decades of treaties and regulations. We must now prepare for a negotiation with the European Union. It won't be easy. It's never been done before. The mirror summing it up. So what the hell happens now? That could take years, and it won't formally begin until Parliament acts to officially trigger the process. The Brits, including former London Mayor Boris Johnson, who led the campaign to leave the EU and who may be the next prime minister, they want to go slow to reassure the public and avoid disruption. In voting to leave the EU, it is vital to stress that there is now no need for haste. But European leaders seeking to reduce uncertainty in the markets and to discourage other countries from following the UK's example want Britain out now. It's important now that these negotiations with the United Kingdom start in good faith, but as soon as possible. And then there's Scotland, which voted overwhelmingly to stay in the EU. Scotland's first minister is looking for some kind of separate arrangement with Europe, or she may call for a vote to seek independence and break up the UK. We will seek to enter into immediate discussion to explore all possible options to protect Scotland's place in the EU. One more thing. I love this country and I feel honoured to have served it. They need a new Prime Minister after David Cameron announced he'd be resigning. The bottom line, Britain, America's closest ally, is in turmoil. Its influence in Europe and the world diminished, leaving the famed special relationship between the US and the UK a bit less special. Terry Moran, ABC News, London.